Carol diagrams. In this nugget, the learning objective is to sort objects and numbers using a Carol diagram. Carol diagrams can be used to sort objects or numbers. We can use a Carol diagram to sort these shapes. Here is a blank Carol diagram. They are usually made up of two rows and two columns. The heading of each column goes at the top and the heading of each of the rows goes at the side. The objects or numbers can be sorted into the four main sections. Before we sort these shapes into this Carol diagram, we'll start simply by sorting the shapes into two categories. Here we just need two main column headings, less than four sides and four or more sides. Now we can begin to sort the shapes. The square has four sides and the pentagon has five sides. So they both need to go in the column under the heading four or more sides. The circle has one curved side and the triangle has three sides. So they both need to go in the column underneath the less than four sides heading. If we want to break these categories down further, we can add an extra row. This turns our simple sorting table into a Carol diagram. We now need to give the rows a heading to categorise the shapes further. Some of the shapes are blue and some of them are pink. So we can create a row for the blue shapes and a row for the pink shapes. Only the blue shapes can be in the blue row and only the pink shapes can be in the pink row. So we need to move some of the shapes. The triangle needs to stay in the less than four sides column, but it needs to move to the pink row. And the pentagon needs to stay in the four or more sides column, but it also needs to move to the pink row. Now the shapes are correctly sorted within this Carol diagram. Now let's use this Carol diagram to sort these numbers. The column headings are less than 20, greater than 20, and the row headings are odd and even. Let's start with the number 2. First, we need to work out which column it should go in. 2 is less than 20, so it needs to go in this column. Now we need to find out which row it should go in. 2 is even, so it should go in this row. So now we can move 2 into place. Now let's move on to 23. 23 is greater than 20 and it's odd, so it must go here. Now for 12. 12 is less than 20 and it's even, so it must go here. Now it's your turn to sort 50, 17 and 51 into the Carol diagram. Pause the video if you need to. Well done if you moved 50 here, 17 here and 51 here. Now it's your turn again. Have a look at this Carol diagram. One of the numbers has been sorted incorrectly. Which number is in the wrong place? Pause the video and have a go. Well done if you discovered that 13 is in the wrong place. 
13 is less than 15, so it's in the correct row, but it's not a multiple of 3, so it's in the wrong column. It should be in the not a multiple of 3 column. Now it's correct. Well done if you spotted it. So remember, Carol diagrams can be used to sort objects or numbers. Make sure that each object or number is sorted into the right column and row. Remember, columns go down and rows go across.